So, for the given geometric series, we need to find the common ratio, we need to determine if the series converges or diverges, and if it converges, we need to find its sum. Well, uh, to find the common ratio, let's look uh, uh, at the first few terms of this series. So, if we unfold it, then the first ter term... Actually, let's start by rewriting this series as sum of 7 times 3 negative 3 over 5 to the power of n and goes from 2 to infinity and now let's try to unfold it and the first term when n equals 2 equals 7 times negative 3 over 5 squared next term is 7 times negative 3 over 5 cubed next term is 7 times negative 3 over 5 to the fourth power and so on um so if you look at these terms you will see that uh you will see that the common ratio here is negative 3 over 5 because every next term is um, equals to the previous term multiplied by negative 3 over 5. Uh, now to determine if the series is convergent we remember that uh, the geometric series is convergent if the absolute value of r is less than 1. In our case, the absolute value of negative 3 over 5 equals 3 over 5, and it's less than 1. So that means that series converges. To find the sum of this series, we will use the formula of the sum of uh, uh, infinite geometric series and this formula states that s equals a over 1 minus r where a is the first term in our case the first term is 7 times negative 3 over 5 squared divided by 1 minus the common ratio so minus negative 3 over 5 this equals 7 times 9 over 25 over 1 plus 3 over 5 is 8 over 5. And this equals 63 over 40. So this is our final answer. So the common ratio is negative 3 over 5. The series converges.